Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going over the Corbria network from uh, the mod Botania. So to start with this one, we're just going to make the basic network. Place down a couple chests like this, then you're going to need Corbria sparks on top of those. And these work a lot like mana sparks, but we have a master spark that's going to allow us to interact with the inventories inside of these chests. So next we're going to place down our Corpia Index and we're going to put the Master Corpia Spark on top of that. Now that's going to link all of these together with your Index. Now the Index is very cool. It allows you to access the inventories of these chests. So let's say we throw iron in this chest, some gold in here, and a diamond stack in this chest. Uh, if you notice when we get close to this, it shoots out with this little animation that allows us to type anything we want into here and request it from the network. So let's say we wanted 14 iron ingots. We just type it into chat. It's going to pop it right out of this crystal, pull it from the chests. And here we go. We have our 14 iron ingots. Very cool, easy, uh, basic setup there. Now there are a lot of other ways to interact with the system itself. So next we have the funnel. So if we place down a chest and I'm going to go a couple blocks above it break the chest just for now if we put a corporate funnel up in the air like this put an item frame on it and then let's say we put some iron in that item frame so whenever the corporate funnel receives a redstone signal it also does need a spark to connect it to the system but anytime it receives a signal it's going to pop out a single iron ingot now if you do want it to request more than a single iron ingot every time you click this it will increase the number until one click just before it goes back to normal it's a total of 64 per click so if we're like right there it's going to pull the whole stack out if you have that much in there next from the funnel we have the uh corporate interceptor so this one is very interesting and this is a huge part of automation with botania so what we do with this one is very similar to what we do with the item frame and I should also mention that if we place a chest down uh, two blocks below this when you right click that it's gonna send the item into the chest almost forgot that but that's another very cool uh, feature of the funnel but let's say the funnel doesn't have the item or your uh, system doesn't have the item you're looking for so let's say an iron block and we don't have those in here what the interceptor does is basically lets the system know that, hey, you don't have this item in here. So if I put an item frame on here with the block, anytime that the iron block is requested, it's going to give off a uh, signal. Again, needs a spark on top of it. So if we right click there, you can see it did that quick little pulse. And what you do with that pulse is up to you. Uh, you can have a signal or a light turn on. You could even have an auto crafter over here that will craft these, letting you know, hey, you're out of uh, iron blocks and uh, that kind of thing. Next, moving on, we have the Corpia Crystal uh, Cubes. Now, I do have to go into survival for this one because I'll break it. Now, this one tells you exactly what is in your network, and you can have a dozen of these lined up if you like. It's up to you. But what you do with this is basically let's grab a diamond or two. If we click an item onto these crystals, it's going to display how many are in your system and also these do need sparks. So don't forget the sparks. As you can see, it's linked up to the system. We have 63 diamonds in the system. This is also another way to pull items. You don't always have to use the funnel to uh, withdraw your items from the system or the network. You can actually come over to these crystals as long as they have an item displayed and right click on them. It's going to give you one or you can shift right click or shift left click and get the entire stack out. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, we are going to go over the Crafty Crate and the Corporate Retainer. These two have a lot to do with automation and uh, they work with the Interceptor. So sorry if you're looking for that in this video. We're just being or we're just trying to set up the uh, basic network. And uh, that's it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.